Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Inspired by Jimmy L. Um, this is a very important message. Um, it's going to be candid, quick, straight to the point, so bear with me for just one moment. Um, as I learn lessons, you know I like to share them with you. I love to share with my audience. My, at the end of the day, the whole purpose of Inspired by Jimmy L is to inspire all of us, including myself, to be the best version of ourselves. At the end of the day, that's the foundation. That's what we're all about. And so the lesson that I've just learned, and, and honestly, I've been getting snippets of it for probably about a month. And so I had one of my mentors to tell me, hey, Jimmy, doesn't matter which decision you make, both of them are going to, you know, they both can work. It's just on you, on what you decide. My second mentor, which is in the corporate world, said, there are no wrong ways. At the end of the day, it's just on you. There are no wrong ways. It's you figuring out what you want to do. And then I listen to a podcast, okay? And then all of a sudden, the podcast is telling me something of the same, that fear is stopping you. You're so fearful to make a decision that you're stopping your entire progress. And so I just had the pleasure of interviewing Justin Shank um, of Growth Now Movement. And some of the best advice that he gave me actually happened after the interview had, in, had concluded. And so I will be doing a couple of notes on that and posting it on Twitter and Instagram. But one thing that really hit home to me was he asked me about coming to his Growth Now Movement 2020 live conference. Um, for me, coming from Memphis, going up to Reading, Pennsylvania, the first thing that came in my mind was like, oh my God, that's a very expensive trip. trip. When I tried to go this year in 2019, I remember this, the plane tickets being over a little over $400, if I'm not mistaken, and then plus the ticket itself, and then plus the hotel, and then a car rental. Like, I was, like, really up there. And so, and I was telling him about that, and so um, he was just like, hey, no, actually, right now, the, the tickets on this are this price, and this is this price, and so, you, you know, you may want to look at that again. I would love to have you here. He was like, I'm not trying to sell you on a ticket. He was like, it's just that I would love for you personally to be here. I would love for you to be here. And so sitting there listening to him and, and kind of having the conversation going back and forth with him, I realized a couple of things that I was being fearful. I was being frustrated yet again um, because I'm one of those people that everyone loves to be around me anyway. Not to say that Justin does. That's not what I'm saying. But when people love to be around you and they love your energy and they love your spirit, they can pull you into 20 different directions. And so I've asked for this big goal. I've asked for this big dream to be a talk show host. And that, that comes with a lot of weight on it. And so what I'm finding out is the universe is really making plans and moving things around to position me correctly. And so instead of me stopping dead in my tracks to say, no, I can't do, or no, I won't do, or getting frustrated and just, just, just wanting to give up, I'm just going to start saying yes. If it feels right, I'm just going to say yes. And so what has happened is, you know, my mom wants to see me. My dad wants to see me. My husband wants to spend time with me. Um, I have a new position at work and uh, being a brand ambassador for a billion dollar company by itself is demanding. Um, leading my current department is demanding. And so you have those things that are going on behind the scenes. But then when you get the new offers to run a, a full on department has come up to have a new position with with Hilton has come up. You know, and so you have all of these different things and they're all are being pulled in different directions. And so and sometimes the dates and some of the things are starting to cross each other. And so, mind you, these things are happening two, three, four, five months out. And I'm already saying, no, I can't do. And what I've just learned from Justin is to shut up. If it feels right, commit to it. And let the universe figure out how it's going to take place. But you have got to be there so that you can receive what is rightfully yours. That is a major lesson. And all of the pieces for me personally are starting to come together to realize that. So I'm going to repeat that to you again. Sometimes you have to shut up. 
say yes when it feels right. Don't worry about how it's going to play out. Let the universe deal with all of that because you need to be there to be able to receive what is meant for you, to be able to receive the blessing, to be able to receive the next step along your journey to accomplish that big dream that you've been seeking all of this time. Justin Shank, thank you. Jeremy Park, thank you. Rob Laster, thank you. Thank you for helping me realize that along my journey. Thank you. I love you guys as always. At the end of the day, you know how I feel. Don't do anything just because I've asked for it, okay? Don't try to keep up with the Joneses on any level. At the end of the day, this is your life to live. The leave, I don't even know what I'm saying. Live, lead, all of the same. It is your life to do with what you wish. If you're going to follow or be inspired by anybody, be inspired by yourself to do the right thing. At the end of the day, the Joneses have no clue what they're doing either. They really don't. We all are just out here trying to make the best of the life that we have. <laughs> if you have not linked up with us on inspiredbyjimmyl.com, make sure you do so. We're definitely there on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and newly TikTok, baby. Inspired by Jimmy L is here to stay. It is a platform that really is designed to be there for you, to assist you and me to be the best version of ourselves. See you guys.